To show the limit of x to the power of 4 times cosine of 2 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0, we can use the squeeze theorem, which I've written here for your reference. To use this theorem, we need to bound our function x to the 4 times cosine of 2 over x between two other functions which have a common limit. To do this, it's important to know your trig functions and that cosine of 2 over x is bounded between negative 1 and positive positive 1. So we start there with what we know. Cosine of 2 over x is between negative 1 and positive 1. It doesn't matter what the input is, the cosine function always lies between those two values. Now, we have to change this expression in the middle to match the expression we actually want to prove something about. To do that, we simply multiply through by x to the power of 4. Then, on the left, we have negative x to the 4, on the right, we have positive x to the 4, and in the middle, we have x to the 4 times cosine of 2 over x. Importantly, to be able to apply the squeeze theorem, we need to show that the limits of the lower function and the upper function are equal. That's the only way we can conclude that the function squeezed between them has to have that exact same limit as well. As x approaches 0, these limits can be evaluated by substitution. The limit of negative x to the 4 as x approaches 0 is 0, and same thing with the limit of positive x to the 4. Since the limits of the bounding functions are equal, and they are equal to 0, the limit of the function squeezed between them must also be 0. And so we conclude by the squeeze theorem, the limit of x to the 4 times cosine of 2 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0.